Good morning, everyone. I'm back. We put out another one last big hurrah beaver line. Um, and I believe we got a double here. I got to drive over to the other side, but it sure looks like there's another beaver over there. I know this one's got a beaver. I if I can get it out. Yeah. Nice two year old beaver. Ooh. If I can get him out of the trap, maybe. There we go. Looks like a nice two year old beaver. Yep. No complaints about that. They came up here and destroyed this too. So hopefully there's more. Son of a gun, there goes my jar lure. Oh no. I still got lure on my stick there. Excavate out my bed a little bit. Oh, we finally got some rain and snow to get these cricks up and moving. Well, I think we're hopefully gonna have a pretty darn good day tonight. So put that reset back in there. And we'll go look at the other side. Alrighty. Got the other side of the creek here. See my rod's all messed up. Well see, I don't really see a blob or anything down there. So we'll see. Feel some weight. Yeah. There's another one starting the day off right with a double. This is just a tiny little guy, it looks like. Kit. That's all right, we'll take it. This rod ran back down there. Awesome clay in the bottom of this creek down there. So. That back down. My bed excavated out a little bit. We're kind of dealing with uh, fluctuating water a little bit so I kind of make my beds a little bit deeper than I normally would just because I'm expecting that water to drop a little bit I'm gonna get my pan slid back a little bit more yeah. well that ought to do it there we go okay trap in there there we go double all right, guys, down in another one here. I see my trap is gone down to the depths. So hopefully there's a beaver down there. There's some weight. Oh, yeah. There's a beaver. I couldn't see that sucker down there. I didn't know what we had going on. He got his whole back leg in there. Beaver number four for the morning here. So not bad. Two-year-old with some really big feet. It's kind of weird. His back feet are really big. Get that moving back out there. We just had almost like a mimic slide right here. That was kind of what I caught that guy on there. So, and we got a rock. Oh, I got it through the rock now. Awesome. There, get this resituated. There, I need a stick from my big pile. Got quite a coon trail running across here too, so I'm glad that they stayed out of this. Get my jar of big pile out here. A little bit of lure, that stick. And there we go guys, I'll get down the road. All right guys, at another location. Try and get in here without grounding. Oh, it's super deep in here. So I gotta be kinda careful. I see this trap is gone. I can't see nothing down there, but it's down in the depth. There's a little beaver. 
probably means there's a whole family in here, which <laughs> it looks like. A lot of beaver sign down here. Tossed up on the bank. This rod ran back where I had it here. Oh, that's right, hard clay. Out to the depths. I ripped, ripped a hole in my pair of gauntlets, so we're gonna try and rock with these gloves for as long as I can anyways. Clear out my bed just a little bit here. I think we got another one on the other side of the creek too, so if we do, I will turn the camera back on for that. For now, yeah, another beaver, guys. All right, we're over at the other side here. Well, they kind of had a little ramp going up. I don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of looping around. But I threw a stick in there with a little bit of lure. At least it looks like it. We connected on a beaver. Let's see if I can get it up. Yep. There's another one. I believe that's probably about a two-year-old thing. Yeah, that one's a two-year-old. But it's another one, so it's double here. That's good. A lot more beaver to go in here as well. Definitely. Get that back in there. My lure's still on that stick. That's good. Back in there. My bed excavated back out. Okay guys, we're in another one and we got us another beaver. Number seven for the day, I believe. I got the arm lengths on. I gotta go fix a trap across the creek that's kind of deep and I gotta fix it a little bit because it, it didn't miss one, but they went around it. So that's gonna need adjustment. See what we got here. Yeah. Well that's a nice big one there. By the whole back leg. got to be careful how much splashing. I'm going to get something wet that I really don't want to get wet. There we go. Okay. Yeah. That's a nice big beaver there. He ain't been in there that long either. He's still limp. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's really windy today, of course. Go back to filming and the wind's got to be violent. Get my trap back here. That may be situated back in there. I'll slick my mound back up. Another stick. So we'll get down the road guys, nice big beaver. 
and just like that we got number 10 today. So I forgot to mention two beavers ago we broke 250 on the season. So this is 252. We are five away from my personal best in the season. And this is a tiny little beaver. Oh man. A lot of tiny ones so far. I hope that changes around a little bit, hopefully. Got beaver number 11 for the day. Oh boy, don't want to slide too much further out there. Really big, got him on the big pile. Bring him up here quick. See what we got. Two year old beaver looks like. If I had to guess. Yep, kind of a small tail on him. Could be a big kit. Not sure. Well, I'm gonna go with another kit. Damn. Put this one back out there. Ah, there we go. Let's see if I can get my stake wiggled back in where I had it. Whoops. A little rocky in here as are all the bridges, it seems like. Come on. There. Okay. We're still on that stick. Get that trap reset back in there. We'll get down the road, guys. Just like that, we got number 13. I'll just do a little pile of mud up right next to this rock. In case you guys can't tell, we got a lot of rock under our bridge. This beaver pulled up here. Two-year-old beaver, I believe. Just pulled another two-year-old beaver out of the, the bridge about 50 yards from here. So, yeah, I'm going to say that's a two-year-old. Toss him up there. This rod ran back. Down there. There we go. Gotta get it lined up with that hole. There we go. Wow, that went in perfect for a rocky bridge. Holy smokes, I wish they all went like that. Back in there and we'll get down the road. We've officially broken my personal best in a season and we did it on a double. We got one here and one on the other side of the bridge. Opposite side of the creek too. So. Awesome. This is 16 and 17 for the day. Oh, he didn't even make it all the way down the ground. Or... Perfect catch. On that guy there. Not the biggest beaver in the world. But a little butterball. He's a healthy one. been on a 24 hour check so nice to have a double here I just got water in my gloves it's nice lure's still uh oh lure's still on my stick there so if I can get this stick to hold somewhere the other beaver walk across the creek here whoa I got deep in a hurry this one looks to be nicer uh, right in this pool here uh, it's probably about the same size but if you guys can see I think my caster mound 
made these beavers a little mad because that was not here when I set this yesterday. So they definitely decided to mark their territory there. There's actually a dam upstream about 80 yards or so, if I had to say, maybe 100. Let's see what we got for a beaver here. I also didn't make it all the way down the rod. Sometimes I'll just tangle themselves up and die right there. Man, they probably made six or eight caster mounds yesterday, last night. Really made them mad. Uh-oh. No more swimming. Another just little butterball of a beaver there. Look how chubby that little dude is. Can't complain though. Another double. Rod ran back in there. Stake back in there. Maybe. I know this one was hard to get to hold. Because the rod's in there at such an angle. It drops off kind of in a hurry. Still good. Got to get what they put here out of here. There we go. This trap reset here. Right back in there. There we go. Lures. Absolute history on this set. Put some more big pile on there. We'll be getting down the road. At the very next location. Sorry, you guys might have to win a I think about that until just now. Uh, but yeah, looks like we got us another fairly good beaver sitting down here. Nice day. There it is. Just about to the max of my gloves there. bigger jeepers by the front arm there oh uh, yeah actually i don't know if it was this one or not but my other one got worked over and they didn't they didn't get in the trap that there's a nice beaver though Ugh. pile of meat there this rod ran back to the depth Shelter, so there's kind of a steep angle. So I 
like to push down on that rod. I'm going to take kind of some of that angle away. We'll see if it works down here or not. Probably now that I'm talking about it, it isn't going to want to cooperate. Struggling. All right, guys. Uh, sorry, it's kind of a jacked up angle in here, but it's basically a straight vertical bank. I have to walk over here in the water. So I got three traps down here. I haven't looked at the other two, but this one is not where I left it. There's a beaver. Sweet. Oh, come on, rat. There we go. I got this nice tree right in my right in my way of everything I'm trying to do here. There's number 20 for the day. I'm gonna have to whip him up over you guys here. Get him up on the bank. Here quick. Ah, please stay. There we go. Perfect. This rod, I had no idea if we had anything down there. It's extremely extremely deep down there. I think they got a dam in here somewhere downstream of this because it does not match up with what the rest of the creek looks like as far as depth goes. Still got my big pile on my stick right there. So that's good. Put that stake back in there. That trap reset. I had it there. And we'll head over to the other two. I'll turn you guys back on if we got anything. Still at the same spot. We got another one. Now the other trap's empty, but we won't manage to pull a double out of here on a 24-hour check. Uh, I'm, I'm more than happy with that. So. Let's see what we got here. This one looks a little bit better. Now well, about the same size. Two smaller ones. Uh, tells me there's probably a whole family in here, though. So there is a positive catching some smaller ones to kind of tell you that there's probably a whole family living in there so that's good hopefully we can keep catching beavers at this spot stake back in there I'm gonna have to relure this too because they wiped out the cash amount I had sitting here there we go take this stick I actually need to re-slick up the bank a little bit. Some lure on there. There we go, guys. Nice double. All right, we got us a butterball sitting down here. Oh, we got another one at 330 over on the other side, too. Oh, they had a little, there's a little chute that kind of goes through there that they were using. I plugged 330 in that baby and whacked. Well, it looks to be another big beaver. They both look pretty big. Oh, almost went down. What do we got? Oh, wow. He's a round dude with a fat, short little tail. Let's see if I can get him. There we go. Let's see here. Wow. He's like a midget beaver. He got really short little legs. It's kind of funny. Ugh. Set him there. Oh, he's floating away. Don't go too far, buddy. Let me get this set remake. Ooh, not going in there. That ran down in there. Oh, this is just a tiny little crick and they got it dammed up, so. Put a couple sets in and capitalize on it. I think it's a nice pair. I'll have to go look at that other one, but get this trap reset there. Right there. Okay, let's go look at the 330. All right, we're over to the 330 Beaver now. Let's see where's my cable? There's my cable. 
Oh, and he bit down on that trap too. That's gonna be so much fun. Got a lot of mud on him. They just had this little channel going through this brush pile here and I put this baby in this pinch point. Pop this guy off his head here quick. I might have to turn the camera off to get that out of his mouth. That's gonna be a lot of fun, I'm sure. Gotta get my get him just right here to where I can squeeze on this baby. We whacked him though, he did not make it very far. Yeah, I'll get him pulled out of here, but there he is, guys. Nice beaver, nice double. All right, guys, we're at a bridge that I can not catch him. Normally, I trap the other side, I couldn't catch him on that last line. Uh, and I knew they were here because they were destroying this sandbar, and I'm in relatively the same area now. Um, so I came back here, and we got one of them. Praise the Lord, they were making me so mad. Oh boy, I got one of my, it's a sandbar here, so I got my 40 inch fish sticks in here. And it's really deep where that beaver's sitting. What do we got? What is he? Oh yeah, that's a nice beaver. I thought he was small. Oh, that's a nice one. And he got it right in the corner, so it's gonna suck to get him out of there. Wow. He really liked that trap. Did not want to come out. Oh, yeah. Nice beaver. Outsmarted that sucker. All I did was change where the trap was, and that's what made the difference. Awesome. Get this stake back in here. I like them 40 inch stakes. Ah. And these sandier ones, I just like to cover them up with a little bit of something. Make sure there's nothing too obvious sticking out. My bed excavated out here. Trap reset. Right there. We'll get down the road. I believe that's 25. Got us another beaver down, guys. Get out here. I believe that's number 28 for the day. We still got a ways to go yet, too. So. Good sign. We're picking up, picking up some stuff pretty good here on this stuff I just said yesterday. Oh yeah, that's a nice big beaver. Nice big beaver. And the whole back leg. Oh, he's got bit up tail too. There we go. A big argue. Oh yeah. Oh, that's an adult. That's a big old beaver. Awesome. Get this round and rod in back out to that hole. Right there. Caught that baby on on good old Bruce juice there, so that's good. The old backwater bait skinning time putting in the work. I caught a lot on big pile and backwater baits is lure today, so putting a pound into them. There we go, guys. Another one. All right. Went on a little bit of a dead spell there, but my mound got punished here. We actually have a uh, two beaver down here, so broke 30 today on a double. This is number 29 and 30. Awesome. Bring this beautiful beaver up here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Big beaver there. front arms. Nice big one. That mound needs some serious therapy. It got violated. That shoved back in there. My top stake in here. I don't like that. I got wallowed out a little bit. Get that back in there. Trap reset. Slick my mound all back up. I still got lure on my stick there, so that's good. I'll head over to the other one. All right, We're at the other side of the creek now. Looks like another big, big beaver here. 
Uh, number 30 for the day, too, so that's good. Let's get this baby pulled up here quickly. See what we got. How big? Oh, yeah. Big. That's a hoss. That's two really big ones. Out of here. And man, that's going to be fun to carry up. That's a big one. Uh, stay. That's a big female. Big female. I'll get this rod ran back to the bowl there. Get this. Boy, I got well over 100 pounds to carry out of here. Well over a hundred pounds to carry out. So I gotta get my steak to, there we go. Grab in there, just filled my glove with water. It's nice. This trap reset here. Right back in there. We'll get down the road, nice double. At 30 guys. All right guys, we're in another one here. I see we got us some beaver sitting out here, so. There was no beaver sign here whatsoever. I just kind of set them. They're on a creek that I just actually pulled another beaver out of downstream a little ways. And I just kind of kept setting the creek on up and got us a nice beaver here. So that's good. I'm going to guess it's a two year old sized beaver. I was guessing, man. Oh, it's a little small. I don't know. I don't think so. Could be more beaver around here, I guess. It ain't the biggest beaver in the world, by any means. Glad to have him, though. It's number 32. So, having a good day. Uh oh. Got us a boulder. Another boulder. Oh man, that's a nasty one. Probably. There it goes. There we go. Okay. Put this in there. That baby reset there. Wipe some of these tracks away. We'll get down the road. Got us beaver number 35 sitting down here. I sat right at the base of the slide they're going up here. Um, for you Iowa guys that are on here, uh, the county likes to go through in the spring and mow a bunch of brush up on top of these bridges. Um, but I do really well on spots where they do that because those beavers will climb up there and it's easy food for them. So just something to, something to think about. Something I've definitely noticed is those spots that got that going on. Them beavers really are starting, will really climb up by that bridge. And they're pretty catchable. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Very good one. Gotta make sure I don't set my other trap off here. By the front arm there. Give you guys a look, see. Nice big beaver. Ah. Stay. Big female too. Caught a couple big females here in the last hour or so. That's good. That ran back out there. Stink. That's number, I don't remember if I said or not, that's 35. I probably did, but I'm taking a beating today, so give me, give me some slack. Get that trap put back in there. There we go, guys, you're getting down the road. And another one, and another beaver, number 36. So, it's real rocky, actually. You guys saw me take a pair of beaver out of here in the fall. So I took a pair of two-year-olds out of here in the fall, and apparently more are moving up. Back in, wow. Really jammed that in there good. Get it pulled up here. Yep, two-year-old. But I came back here. After catching those two in the fall, figuring they'd be gone and out of here, and there's some fresh beaver tracks in the caster mound. 
And there we go. 36. Still got some locations left to go yet, too. So. See if I can manage that back into the bottom. Somehow. Some way. There we go. Oh, this end's going to be the hard end. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. I remember right, I had my trap set back here a little bit further and it made a perfect catch on that dude. We're gonna do it the exact same way. Hope for the same result. So, let me get down the road. All right guys, just got home here today. I came home with 37. So my second best day. I fell a couple short of that 39 day we had the other day, but awesome day. Puts me up to 270 nine yeah 279 on the season so we're pushing like heck for 300 had a heck of a fun day it was fun so anyways y'all hope you enjoy this video uh we're gonna be trapping beaver trapping here for a couple more checks anyways so till next time guys thanks for watching